everyone, it's Sam. I hope you can hear me with this mask on. Maybe I should take it off, but I'm just wearing it because this is makeup for wearing a mask. So let's take this off. By the way, I love this mask. It was made by an Italian uh, lingerie designer. So cool. I'll put a link to her Instagram below. Just, it's so pretty. If I have to wear a mask, I wanna wear a beautiful one. Anyhow, I've tried tons of foundations under masks in London. You have to wear a mask when you go onto public transport. And I do wear it a lot of the time um, if I'm in like in a store where I'm close contact with people, stuff like that. And I know that globally it is um, required like in America and it's required in a lot of states and in Paris it's required in the underground. A lot of people wear them. And it actually gets kind of hot under here. So when you're wearing this, you almost get like this weird steam thing. So for me at least, wearing heavy foundation has been a total fail. First of all, the inside of the mask, well, it's not dirty right now because I am using a much lighter technique, but um, it can get messy, the inside of the mask. And also I got breakouts because it gets hot and I'm wearing heavy foundation. So I'm gonna sh walk you through my technique on what sort of makeup I put on wearing a mask. And the technique is mostly about, obviously, face makeup, but if you rewind, forward wind, to the end of the video, I'm also gonna talk to you about how I did this eye makeup. It's just gonna be a fast forwarded little section. Reason being is, you know, when you're wearing a mask, your eyes really stand out. And even with that, I realized that there are certain tricks, kind of what level lashes to wear, what's too much, what's too little, all of that. So I'll talk you through all of that in the end. But um, yeah, I am going to get started. So I have already done my eye makeup and if you wanna see how I did this um, look, just skip towards the end of the video because I do kind of like a fast forward little tutorial of this. Um, I have applied my Votary Super Seed Serum. If you haven't heard of this brand, check them out. They are insane. I am obsessed with this serum. Um, Votary is a fabulous English cruelty-free brand, so check them out. They have no idea that I'm mentioning them. I'm not getting paid to mention them, but it is just, I am obsessed. I can talk you through my current skincare regime if you guys are interested, let me know below. And I have also um, put on my sunscreen and this is a photo protector ISDN uh, fusion water and this is really good for around the eyes. Most sunscreens make my eyes really, really sensitive. This does not. Um, I buy mine in Spain, I order it from there. Um, if I can find a link where you guys in America can order this, um, I will put it below. Anyhow, primer. So with primer, uh, a sticky primer is great. Normally I use Ila Masca Hydro Veil. Uh, I have started using Milk Makeup's Hydro Primer and this is super sticky and I am loving it right now. It is just a tester size, but I'm definitely buying a big one. So we are gonna be using mineral powder. And when I use mineral powder, I always do my concealer first. Remember, less is more with a mask. I am going to use, this is called Custard, the shade, uh, the NARS concealer, whatever this is called, that comes in a pot. And um, I absolutely love this Real Techniques brush. Where does it say what it's called? Deluxe Crease Brush. Anyway, I love this for concealer. So. Because I've used a good under eye cream, I can just go in under eyes with this concealer. If I don't use a nice under eye cream, this concealer is too drying for me. So I tend to put concealer in the creases of my nose. And then a little bit just here. But remember, the area that the mask covers, less is definitely more. So for me, it's mineral powders all the way um, during this mask kind of season. And my favorite mineral powder is Laura Mercier's and I am shade Natural Beige. Um, I do sometimes use bare minerals, not that often. Uh, the bronzer we're gonna use is actually bare minerals. And the reason why mineral powders are 
better is I like a very light coverage under the mask. This is, you know, um, one of those situations where less is definitely more. And this does not transfer nearly as much as some of my other favorite foundations. I'm not a fan of full cover foundation anyways, so why would I start using it and sweating under a mask when nobody really even sees if my skin is 100% perfect. So I buff this into my skin really, really well. Another reason why mineral powder is amazing is because you've got the mask on the whole time. I don't know about you, but my face actually, it gets hot. And I've had a few breakouts from just, it feels like there's steam inside of it because you're breathing into the mask. And mineral powder is always the best for skin that breaks out. So that is a really important point to consider. Then I am going to do a little bit of bronzer. I'm not going to do highlighter, bronzer and um, blush because I don't feel that it's necessary when you're only really seeing kind of this area. But I do want to add a little bit of bronzer. I don't put tons more than in the visible areas. This is Faux Tan by Bare Minerals. And I'm literally just going to use it in a contouring way. So I'm using a very small brush and I am going around my hairline because I always feel like my forehead is a little bit wide. Maybe I'll just put a tiny bit under my cheekbone so that when the mask comes off I have a bit of definition. Powder. I'm going to use Peach Perfect uh, Mattifying Loose Powder uh, by Tarte. Sorry, Too Faced. And I'm going to use it with a damp beauty blender, but this is only barely damp. So I dampen it when I start doing my makeup and I really squeeze everything out. So there's a tiny bit of dampness there right now, not very much at all. And with the damp beauty blender, I press it into my skin. Then a quick spray of setting spray. This is Urban Decay's um, D-Slick and I never spray it directly onto my face. I kind of back up a bit and I like to walk into it. If you do want to do blush, I suggest a kind of a tint like Glossier uh, Cloud Paints. This one is Storm. So if you do want to do it, layer it after the mineral powder and before the actual setting powder. But because my face is most of the time under a mask, I just let the mineral powders in my skin. I don't want anything extra on it most of the time. So, lips. Lipstick is going to smudge like crazy on a mask. So I tend to prefer kind of um, more, this isn't a lip tint, this is Generation G lipstick by um, Glossier and this is Crush, but this is more like a tint. So it's not gonna come off and it's super dry so that nothing gets stuck on my mask. I'm gonna use a little bit of Love Trap by um, Charlotte Tilbury with him. So with more of a matte or a lip tint, uh, definitely no glosses, no satin lipsticks, nothing like that. But obviously when you take your mask off, you don't want to just have foundation and powder on your... So that's the end of the face portion. If you wanna know how I did this eye makeup, um, kind of with lashes, but these are three quarter lashes and stuff. The kind of eye makeup I'm doing right now for wearing a mask, I'm gonna do it in kind of fast forward narrated mode just after this. Um, so if you wanna see that, keep watching. And if not, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye. I'm using my Too Faced Shadow Insurance like I normally do, absolutely my favorite primer. And then I'm moving on to my Naked Reloaded and I am going to use Bribe, the lightest shade, as an all-over wash on my eyelid. 
Then I am going to mix Bucked and Boundaries. Somehow that is just the perfect crease color for me. So I do the crease and I pretty much extend it almost all the way to my eyebrow. And I kind of mix it in all the way to the inner corner as well. And then I do a, the darkest color, which is called End Game. And that's when I kind of do the outer V. I've switched to a smaller brush here as well. And I blend it in with a smaller brush and then I go over with a larger brush. And I layer this a few times. And again, I blend it again. And then I do it under with a smaller brush instead of a liner and then I just blend it in. And I go in with that same small brush into the lash line. Now because the palette doesn't have a black, I'm using Illa Muska's black. It's one of the blackest blacks that I have uh, in powder shadows. And I put it on and I mix it. Then I'm using the Illa Muska gel liner. And just doing a basic line and I am going almost all the way to the inner corner, not quite, and then just fading it into that black. And I go over it with, in the outer edge, with the powder and then just kind of blend it in. Now this is my guilty pleasure. This is Chanel's carte blanche and I apply it with a finger and it has this iridescent glow to it that I haven't found in another um, shadow. So I just love layering over tons of things. It doesn't come across that much on the camera. Then I am uh, curling my lashes with my Hourglass Lash Curler and using my favorite Hourglass Mascara in Caution. And this one stays put like nobody's business. I'm using a little bit of eye cream. It is the Body Shop Vitamin E Cream and I put it under the eyes and I also use it to clean up um, and yeah, a little bit came off. So then we're putting on three quarter length lashes. These are by Fleur de Force uh, for eye lure. I like three quarter length lashes for daytime. Um, they're relatively light and they actually, um, they, they're quite natural. So I found that lashes that are too big with a mask, it really draws attention. It looks like you're going to a club in the middle of the day. So I like to wear very relatively light lashes with a mask. I think it just is better for daytime. Also, I wanted to know I am using the Tarte eyelash glue with these. It is almost too good. It makes my lashes stay on forever. And a few times when I've started taking them off, I've lost a few lashes because it's just so good. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you again next time. Bye. Let's put the mask on. Actually, let's do that. Let's say bye with the mask on.